El verbo ir es muy importante en español. Ir quiere decir to go. Las conjugaciones del verbo ir son yo voy, tú vas, él, ella, usted va, nosotros vamos, vosotros vais, ellos, ellas, ustedes van. El verbo ir es muy común en español. It's very common verb because we're always talking about where we will go. Otra vez las conjugaciones son voy, vas, va, vamos, vais, van. Es un verbo irregular. Ahora unos ejemplos. Now some examples. El primer ejemplo, the first example, is vámonos. Let's go. Ya me voy. I'm going now or I'm leaving. Then a question, ¿a dónde vas? Where are you going? Now we'll look at some different uses of ir. To talk about where you will go, you'll use the conjugations of ir. So to talk about yourself and where you will go, you can say voy a mi casa, which would be I'm going to my house. If you're going to practice, you can say voy a practica. The word a in Spanish means to. So when followed by a feminine noun, such as mi casa or practica, a is fine. However, when a is followed by a masculine noun, such as el cine or el parque, what happens is it becomes a contraction. So instead of a, el, it becomes al. So to say, you are going to the movies, you would say tú vas al cine. We are going to the park would be nosotros vamos al cine. In addition to using the verb ir, to go, to say where we will go or where someone else is going, we can also use it to talk about the near future. For example, in English we might say, what are you going to do today? We are going to go to the movies. You'll notice that we're using the verb to go. To use the verb ir to say what we will do, we use the conjugations that we just learned, voy, vas, va, vamos, vais, or van, added by the preposition a in Spanish, which is to, plus the infinitive, infinitivo. In order to do this format, you must understand what an infinitivo is. An infinitivo is a verb that is not conjugated, A verb that is not conjugated or not belonging to a specific person will be recognizable by looking at the last two letters. If it ends with AR, AR, ER, ER, or IR, IR, then you can be sure that is an infinitivo. The question to ask someone, what are you going to do today in Spanish, is que vas a hacer hoy. Que means what. Vas is the tu form of the verb ir when you're talking directly to a person. So when you say que vas a hacer hoy, you're asking what are you going to do today. Que means what. Hacer is to do and hoy is today. Que vas a hacer hoy. Now let's put everything together and try to make some sentences. The verbs on the right are infinitivo. They're infinitive verbs. Hablar is to talk and comer is to eat. Now if you wanted to say, I'm going to eat, you would say, voy a comer. If you wanted to say, you are going to speak, it would be, vas a hablar. Now you try one. 
How would you say, we are going to eat? If you said, vamos a comer, muy bien. So as you can see, once you understand the format of how the sentence is put together, it's not too challenging and you really can do it. So you just take any form of the verb ir, voy, vas, va, vamos, vais, or van, added with a, and then you add any infinitive. The infinitive would represent the verb that is being done. So if you wanted to say, I am going to play, you would say voy a jugar.